This All right, Batman. Tom. Batman Arkham Batman. Knight. Let's do it. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> That's so much better than mine. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's got gloves. Oh, and the gloves have spikes. See, something. what do you think of it? I mean, it, I know you're not as big a superhero fan as I am, no. but for me, it's it seems oh, like a big a departure pecs. to go to the very techno uh, mechanized sort of Batman suit. Uh, I mean, it's all robotics there. And that, all wearing that makes sense, though. Like, I mean, he's essentially just a billionaire, right? But like, it can does. buy anything, oh, so man, why not buy all the cool stuff? I'm on my way. I, don't know. I suppose it makes more sense than like a cloth. Yeah. It's meant to be armored. Yeah. Look at that weather and zeppelins. Mm. Uh, also known as blimps. No, it's not. Just it's only it's you. only zeppelins. I love I love that they, he pauses to look around. Just of course yeah. you would. That's called the developer stare, Tom. <laughs> That's any time a developer showing someone a game. Yeah. They deliberately walk slowly and they pan the camera across yeah. and just go. I'm just gonna look up and down and left and right. I'm certainly worried uh, because there seems to be this big city, and I don't think there's much going on if you look closely. That uh, was one of the problems with the previous games. Um, oh, yeah, the, oh. Little, the little three-point uh, finish. And here it is. The Batman. We've all been waiting the for the star of the game. Um, yeah, I don't. You mean about empty worlds? That was the problem mm. I had with Arkham City. I mean, obviously there was a premise for it, but if you look in this game. There, uh, oh, destructible environments. That's a <laughs> you're gonna need that. You're gonna yeah. cause a lot of destruction. What is with though? Uh, if you notice, every time it goes to turbo, the mm. screen or the, the the camera angle goes down a bit, and it sort of blocks the screen a bit. See, I think that's gonna be really difficult. This for was driving. the this was the thing, the problem I had with this demo. I don't see how you can drive with this much precision. Like it must be amazing handling, but those streets look so narrow sometimes. Yeah, and those turns look so sharp. Yeah. It just, I can't imagine it not being awkward. Just looking at it, even looking at someone do it expertly, I still feel <laughs> awkward, like it's going to be clumsy yeah. to do. And yeah. in case you didn't know, somehow Batman has a tank yeah, that it doesn't will, kill civilians. The Batmobile is actually a transformer. <laughs> it's just a really shit transformer that can only transform from a vehicle into a ne another vehicle. Now, what do you think of this strafing mechanic? I mean, look, I'm not going to lie, it makes me think of a Wraith from Halo. Oh, from yeah. Life. Uh, I mean, I don't, it makes sense. It's gonna be. It would have been really hard to fight stuff otherwise. Yeah. Um, auto rockets there. Hello. Bit of fireworks. It's cool. I like. I mean, the Batmobile it does have firepower normally. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> That's what's cool about it. Because yeah. then the you, you remember. Oh, hey, I'm Batman. But <laughs> rocking around in a tank to me just doesn't feel Batman. Yeah. Yeah, it feels a bit bit OP. Mm. Um, but it uh, does look great. Yeah. And this city looks amazing. Um, it's the best Gotham has ever looked. And this is the new drop-down execution uh, that I don't think has been in any other Batman games. They've been kind of drop-down-y, sort of, not, not in that regard. You could do sort of a drop move where you like sort of land on them, Yeah. but not one where you, you completely sort of like take them down. The traditional, <laughs> the traditional thing in the Batman games is that you sort of knock an enemy down and then you do a takedown so they stay down for good. Yeah. Um, and that looked like the first time. Of course, there we have Nolan North reprising his role as the Penguin. Yeah. Oink, and oink. this is a great uh, reference back to Arkham Asylum, which, of course, when Batman um, does a great fake out. Oh, see, that's something I love. Instant access to vents. No more mashing A to open the vents. Yeah. Then going in and mashing A to get out of the next Yeah, just so much streamlined. And, and I love, like, we've gone from this huge open world to just this, you know, crawling around in vents. And this is great because I thought, cool. oh no, the demo's fucked up. This is so embarrassing. Mm. But of course, this is this was a big fake out in the first uh, Batman game where the scarecrow poisons you and the screen glitches and you think that the game's fucked up. And of course, <laughs> it's all a nightmare scenario. Yeah. Um, I thought it was great that they included that here as well. And yeah. also, scarecrow here it is. looks amazing. Um, yeah. Doesn't doesn't he uh, need a heart or something? Bow. Um, yeah, yeah, Tom, he does. Oh, okay. And uh, a bunch of comic knowledge as well, <laughs> apparently. Um, Scarecrow's great. I'm glad that, I mean, spoilers, but the Joker ain't around no more uh, as a Batman Arkham City right. in this universe. And he's so overused, I think it's great to have another villain like Scarecrow just sort of take the center stage. Yeah. And look at that. I mean, you're kind of waiting for a maggot to uh, run out of that mouth on just something creepy crawly. Mm. Yeah, Batman mm. on fire. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Batman, Batman on fire. crossed with the Hunger Games. There we go. I think that's the working title for it, right? 